Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the bronze match for the April 2016 TBT <laughs> tournament. And we're going to be starting off with a co commentator. Hello again. It is Floris. <laughs> How are you doing, Floris? Hi. I'm fine. Although I'm out of the tournament, I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Yeah, you got knocked out during the, the tiebreaker at the end of the Swiss match. <laughs> yeah, that was an utter and almost. utter and most failure. Ah. That scorcher rust did not work out. Otherwise, oh. we would have won straight away. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. I did see the earlier game you played with against Sprung and Hokomoko, actually. The one where you guys... Oh, where they did the warrior drop. Yeah, the warrior drop, and then it kind of went back and forth, and then they ended up winning. That was a good one. It was a nice defense, and then a uh, good game after win. Yeah. All right, so what the <sighs> half are they going to be doing? Sheesh. They really should have set... This is why it's one map. It's start map. Like map list is fine for for losers pick, but I think who who chooses the first map? <laughs> I don't know. It should have been random, right? Well, it was in the earlier tournaments the f choice of the tournament organizer. For every round, the first round of every well, first map of every round, first game of every round had a set map, and then it was losers pick, <laughs> and that worked okay. Mm hmm. So this is the finals. <coughs> this is so these the are the finals match. or not? This is the bronze, the bronze match. match. Yeah. Okay. Because for some reason they didn't go for double elimination, so we don't have a losers finals properly. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's the average unpronounceable versus the Hokomoko sprung. Okay. Kshatriya is not unpronounceable. How much? Kshatriya is not unpronounceable. Kshatriya. Yeah. Oh, okay, Satria. I can get used to that. <coughs> yeah, it's an Indian thing. It's the Hindi caste. It's the second highest Hindu caste, I think. Oh, could could be. He's not be. Hindi, I asked, but that's apparently, that's what the word is. <laughs> and we're going to be on Vitra again. <coughs> no, no shame in that. It's a good map. It worked out pretty well last time. I mean, it's a solid map, for sure. It's not my favorite You're map. always fighting uphill. That's the nice part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is kind of hard to hold. And it definitely didn't have that cake feel. Although, admittedly, with Living Lands not having all the stuff focused on this... Oh. Living Lands not having all the stuff focused on the center, it's... Like, all the economy, as opposed to Deadlands, that worked okay, that works okay too. So... I'm not sure what to think anymore. There aren't really any cake maps anymore, which is nice. Hmm. Hey, you have a new clan, right? Hmm. I see a new logo next to your name. The Legacy oh, Orbital. Oh, yeah, the Lobster Clan. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think it's Snuggle Base that started that. Yeah, it's Snuggle Base that started that as a help for newer or less experienced or just bad players and since i'm not particularly skilled although admittedly i've been playing more but i'm i'm getting better but yeah yeah you almost beat be the google that's frog that's true i did last almost week. beat google frog the other day <laughs> it was a nice one that was actually kind of surprising i feel kind of bad i didn't but yeah still got closer i mean it's google frog so he's a fairly strong player i mean that's that's a pretty big that'd be a big jump if managed to beat google fog regularly mm -hmm. so <sighs> people's pick him up any map ah! okay it's apparently terra now which i've never even oh, that's the first time i've seen it today i think it's the first time i've seen it ever i don't think i have it i mean i might have had it before i reinstalled spring or zero k like three or four months ago but no, I don't have it. I'm what? I don't. What is this map? Terra? It's it's an old time. Uh, it's like Delta Sea Dry. Darn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, darn it, Parzival. Oh, I'm not boss apparently anymore. Oh. Okay, good. We're now starting, finally, properly, without without rearranging the teams. Yay. All right, so. 
Tara, you clearly know it better than I do. Oh, yeah, there are a couple of things to say about this map. Okay. To start off with, there are four super maxes on this map. Oh. They're really hard to miss. <laughs> okay. Which is not in the original. Uh, they are not that big in the original. But the Zero K remake. Oh, this map. Okay. Has... Yeah, I know. I remember. Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, because the 5.4 max is on corners. Yeah, okay. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, I haven't seen this map in a while, but yes, I had seen this before I reinstalled the game. Okay. Not... So now they are uh, discussing tactics. Uh, yeah, as usual. To see, do you want to start with air or not? On this map, this is a comic <coughs> catcher type map. I would say it's probably not a bad idea. I mean, comic catcher doesn't have these rivers in the middle. I'd say it's a really good idea. Like, light vehicle is going to have a yeah, bit plane. of a harder time. Now you have to think a bit more about uh, radar and uh, if you want to cross those hills. Right. Hmm. I'm guessing we're going to see air and bots of some kind. Sprung and Okamoko want to rush that Supermax. I suppose the other team will do the same. Well, no indication yet. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. Sprung and Okamoko. Oh, they are okay. I'm thinking Sprung and Okamoko are. Oh, sorry. That's Kshatriya. So, yeah, Sprung and Okamoko in the south going for that. They've been kind of changing between cheesy games and very standard games. Never really sure what to expect. Kshatriya and Average Plan being a bit more standard. But still. Wait, fixed wing. All right. Well, that makes perfect sense. And shield bots for Okamoko. Nothing yet for Sprung. And South Team way ahead in economy. Kshatria just about to catch up and hover. Okay. Hover and air versus shields and light vehicles. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Because you can do hovercrafts here. <laughs> well, admittedly, you can do hovercrafts in a lot of maps. But yeah, the fact that the hovercrafts don't really care about the water helps. Where's it go? Okay, I think the top, the, the north start is a bit uh, better e eco-wise because you have a uh, quicker access to more maxes. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. It looks like Hokomoko and oh, Sprung headbutt. are trying to overdrive. <laughs> yeah, good old dirtbag headbutt. But yeah, I think Hokomoko and Sprung are desperately trying to just overdrive this max as much as possible. Yeah, indeed. Very risky strategy because they're against air, which means a raven's going to happen. Or a phoenix in this yeah, case, but a raven and then just... 25% uh, behind in eco. Yeah, and they can uh, get... And Hokomoko doesn't jump uh, to, uh, the, to the right uh, max. He doesn't need that late laser turret there yet. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. What they, if they're worried, <laughs> get a hacksaw. Because the only threat is going to be a razor. Yeah. The Swiss, they'll shut down all rating uh, for now on their part of the map. If you can keep six, seven uh, of those uh, Swifts, they're safe against raids. Well, they only have four so far, but it's not going to be an easy thing for the bandits to get back at them. So, yeah. Although, actually, never mind. The bandits are on <laughs> the hill. Down one. <laughs> on the hill, the oh bandits boy. are fine. <laughs> That works out yeah, okay. Yeah, try to manage the pathing here. <laughs> I think bandits are the best anti-air in the game. Yeah, we've discussed this before, haven't we? That's just really hard because they have so much... They have a lot of firepower and they last for longer than glaives do. Okay, but in the center there's a commander taking uh, offender or defender uh, shots. And here comes... Well, it's not hitting the mechs. Not enough. Oi, oi, oi. Not a bad shot, though, but yeah, that's where ravens need to be built. And it looks like none are being built. Average Planet and are actually completely idle in their production. What the heck's going on, North Team? This is very bizarre. Ah, oh, they're doing fine. Yeah, but not South Heaven has absolutely no economy. No additional maxes. Well, Hokomoko is starting to build some additional maxes, but yeah. It's a fair point. Over what the heck is this dagger doing? Whatever. Anyway, Dagger was just backing up. It was just backstepping. Although, it looks like no, Sprung and Okamogo have taken a few. Actually, Sprung's taken another Supermax. The Western Supermax. Yes. 
So they got more <laughs> economy, but that's nowhere near as well defended as the Southern Super Mechs they started with. But there does seem to be South Team's oh. focus as the Super Mechs. No, they could have. Is it me, or are the Super Mechs closer to the South than to the North? Mm, I think the Eastern one might be slightly closer to the South, and the Western one is slightly closer to the North. But it's very slight. Uh, okay, not sure. big assault with uh, stompies and uh, levelers. Yeah, if I turn it around, no, it's it's even. If I turn the map entirely around, it looks like they're closer to the south when I turn it around, which means they're probably about equal. I think they had an opportunity there with the <coughs> two uh, ravagers and the leveler. And oh, their commander. Here? Yeah, to get rid of the commander or to get rid of everything here. Yeah, because Kshatri's commander yeah, is really Yeah, at least horrible. force them back. I mean, it's level two. But machine gun isn't going to do much good here. Well, it will do something, but it would be a good trade, I guess. Against leveler and... Actually, no, one level or two Ravagers. Eh, it might be okay. And a commander. Right, I guess the commander would go for the attack. Oh. Sacrificing anti-air to take the hits from the defenders. And... Uh... Nice Scorcher, though. Yeah, really nice. Although, okay, so that's not a bad strategy. I mean, they're not killing the commander, but they are kind of breaking up the front line and keeping the commander from pushing too far forward. Keeping the commander honest. <laughs> not a bad idea. While well, at the same time raiding around the back. So, yeah, hitting on all sides. That's something I noticed before with... Like, Sprung and Okamoko, as this tournament has progressed, they've gotten better and better at coordinating attacks along different parts of the map, although these shields are apparent... Or the bandits are apparently not bothering, but they've gotten better at pushing one attack to distract the opponent and then pushing another front in order to take advantage of that distraction. That's something they've been doing a lot. And... I see uh, Wyvern, or... Uh, Licho, oh, or yeah, whatever Wyvern its name is. Built. I guess they're going to go for the Supermax with that? Kind of surprised. The Wyvern... Ravens would do just fine, but okay. And get rid of it. I think it's a bit too early. Uh, so there's 2,000 in the unit already. Oh, I agree. I mean, that's really risky compared to the fact that, like I said, a raven, a raver would do, <laughs> raven would do the job. There's no reason to get a wyvern that early, and it's taking them an extra minute or so. Like they would have had three ravens by now. They would have had both super mechs dead by now. Yeah, well, you know. Hokomoko is covering his flanks really well, and he can scout and see anything coming, and he knows it's safe to expand to the left and the right. Yeah. Which is a good situation to be in. Yeah, North Team, on the other hand, they're pretty naked. Holy, wow, they're really naked. The commander is the only thing that's not naked. Like, the commander's there, which is helpful, but otherwise, there's not much. And I think, yeah, six bandits, seven bandits, that'll take care of a commander, no problem. Although I think they're not... Level 2? With a beam laser. Hmm. Yeah, beam laser commander might be a problem. But the radar is barely picking up the bandits, so they've got an opening. Yeah. <coughs> and they've got some scouting. The bandits are basically just getting information, but hey, that's good. And they're going to see the Wyvern, I think. Are they going to see it? They should see it. They do. It's at 96, 97% yep, they see it. now. <laughs> no, it will be. Oh boy. Totally see it. They know they're probably no, losing the Supermax, down. but hey, they know it's there. Now they should bomb something. Well, they're going to bomb the Supermax, I think. I doubt so. I, you can just rebuild it. It's a good trade. Well, if they bomb the main base Supermax, which is look. Oh no, they're bombing Hokomoko's commander. Come on there. Which didn't work. Good jump from Hokomoko. That's another thing that. <laughs> I've been noticing a lot for this tournament, not just in Hokomoko, uh, but in general. Barely escapes. Good micro. 94 HP. Now it needs to be repaired. Oh, wow. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and now adding a Newton in there for good measure. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Well, okay, yeah, next time that Wyvern comes in there, it's done. Although it's going to take a long time for that to happen. Oh, no, it's not repairing first. Wow, okay. How do we do that? I thought it was mandatory to repair your aircraft before rearming it. No, I think it's rearmed then. Oh, you're right. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. 
I, I know the order was switched recently, so I guess it becomes rearm then repair? Yeah, it's rearm then repair. Not repair then rearm. No? Well. I thought it was there to uh, make sure you cannot keep bombing. I think that was changed recently, but I don't know. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought it was repair then rearm. But we know now that is not the case. It is in fact rearm then repair. <laughs> or just... Uh, and another score. None wow. Of both. <laughs> I think if that Scorcher gets hit, it's going to cause problems just on its own. The Wyvern forced to retreat because what is it going to do? And Wyvern... <laughs> what? Wow, okay. <laughs> that was just spiteful. It's like... Wh what? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it was a pretty average plan. <laughs> wow, okay. It's like... No, I'm not going to... Like, You're not going to kill me. That's my job. Burning soil, huh? Scorched Earth strategy from average plan. Okay, that's a nice, nice rate on the left. Yeah, at least that makes up for the, the Scorched Earth Air Factory destruction. <laughs> but Heavy Tank Factory over in the western side, and sorry, eastern side, and we do have an air plant, or air pad. So it's not like it's a complete waste, but that was still hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Stalin would be proud. <laughs> Oh, the commander is stuck. Yeah, that's dead commander, all right. And a nice push in. So it looks like we have the raid in the western side for for Kshatria, while the center Sprung's getting a counter raid in, which might get rid of the factory. I mean, we already know that Average Plan really doesn't like the idea of other people destroying their team's factories. So we're probably going to see the Wyvern come in and just destroy the factory for them. Now, just so everyone knows who's boss here. But nope, nope, actually, it looks like Sprung and Hokumoku were able to get away with destroying the factory. Oh, well. There was, there was GG. no suicide there. And yeah, that's there's not much left. Although they had a good raid going on. The south it was not enough. Hmm. Yeah, I... I don't see any way out of this. There's just They're sweeping around. Sweeping around to death, and that's it. Kshatra's throwing in the towel. I think Average Plan will follow suit, but they... I don't know. They're still going for it. They still got the Reaper. I, no, they're, they're dead. I don't see any easy way out of this right now. I don't see any way out of this right now. That double super mix early worked out. Surprisingly. Like for South Team. I think it wasn't just a double mech. They had a position advantage at first. And Hokomoko just knew everything going on. Indeed. So yeah, that, that was a good match. We are on to match two. And that is going to be on, I guess, Average Planet Kshatra's pick of map. I don't know what they're going to pick, though. I've only seen them on Cold Snap. I have no idea what maps they prefer. Okay, apparently Hokomoku's having some issues joining. I'll have to deal with that. But yeah, next map. Did You didn't play with Average Planet Kshatria, did you? Can't remember. No, you never did. Yeah, you never played against them or Ball of Doom or Dying Friend. I think I did. Oh, we did play against Ball of Doom and Dying Friend right at the end. That's right, the tiebreaker match. That's right. All right, we're back. Pokemon was back. So now it's average planning Shatria choosing map. And that's going to... That should work out pretty well, I think. I still, I really don't agree with the... I think the biggest part was the Wyvern thing, because I think if they had gone for Ravens instead of Wyverns, that would have been both Super Mexes down in the time it took to halfway build the Wyvern. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, it would have been a suicide mission, but hey, if you got rid of 10 metal per second from your opponent, that's worth it. That's an entire, con that's an entire caretaker that's useless now. Oh, well. On to the next match. <sighs> okay, so Average Planet Chatter is discussing their map. And then once that's done, we will have it. I'm guessing they're probably going to go for something like Vitra or... One or less. Maybe Ravaged if they realize that Hokomoko and Sprung have a hard time with that map. Or Flooded Valley once again if they realize, oh yeah, Hokomoko and Sprung have a hard time with that kind of map. Hmm. Once they get that picked, that'll be good. Yeah. Icy Shell! Okay! Interesting choice. But yeah, that is map two is Icy Shell. See how this works. This is still a fairly straightforward map. It's a smaller map, so less time to set up or anything, but it's still fairly straightforward. So I think that Kshatra and Average Plan are going to be at a bit of a disadvantage. Not as much of one, but still a bit of one. Yeah. It's a, bit, it's a bit of a weird map. Yeah. Because of the hardness and the, the in <clears throat> inaccessible uh, center max to vehicles. Well, I'm guessing what will happen is that one of Hokomoko or Sprung... Hokomoko will probably go Amphib and take the super mechs, and Sprung will probably go light vehicles and just <laughs> wander around the map trying to make sure that Average Planet Kshatra can't really do anything. That's my guess. Okay. Can we begin? All right, good. We are Going to be starting, finally. That took a little longer than I would have liked, but hey, we're we're going. So with... Let's see. With Icy Shell... I mean, I've already kind of worked out what I think the strategy is going to be. We'll find out for sure. So we have... Looks like... Wait, who's in the north? Who's in the south? Okay, Kshatriya's in the north. Kshatriya and Average Plan in the north. And we have Sprung and Hokomoko in the south. Looks like it. I'm guessing Hokomoko's going to be starting in the south center. Sprung probably in the southwest, I'm guessing. Not sure about Average Plan and Kshatriya. I feel like they're going to split start. Like northeast, northwest. And Average Plan's already thinking, oh yeah, they're going to rush mid. Which isn't a bad thing to think. They probably are going to rush mid. We know that Super Mexes are a favorite thing. I mean, we saw the last game. Sprung and Shatter really want that. Hmm. Hey. Well... Yeah. 
Irish Blend taking the northeast. I'm guessing Shatra is taking the northwest. Although Shatra might just be joining Average Plan. Interesting if they do that. It's a little bit safer, but of course it means that they're going to have a harder time expanding. And maybe Average Plan's going. No, Average Plan. Sorry, Shatra is going to the west. So, yep, I was right. Split sides for North Team and Hokomoko. Not sure where they're placing yet. No, this is really strange. It's hard to defend each other mm -hmm. if you play like this. Well, it's a risky strategy with an economy focus. But the point is they're trying to think, go hyper-aggressive with Scorchers. That Their strategy discussion is, let's go Scorchers, flank on both sides. Hokomoko, yep, in the center. So Sprung, I was guessing north southwest. But we'll see where Sprung goes. I have no idea. But so far, I'm three for three. So hey. That works pretty well, I think. So what about Sprung? Sprung? Okay, they are going to the center as well. So I was... Okay, three for four. Not bad. So Cloaky and Light Vehicle Factory, not Amphib. Interesting. And Scorcher no Flex coming in from the north side. Scorcher mid, I guess. What are they? Okay, I'm curious what they're going to be doing here then. You might want to put down a radar, Mr. Sprung. That seems wise. I mean, clearly they're trying to rush a bunch of Scorchers, but they're rushing Scorchers into rushed Scorchers. And interestingly enough, the South team, despite the fact that they're pushing in twice, no, three times as much metal into it, they have as many Scorchers as each of the North players. Whoa. That didn't really work. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, and they're boy. going they past each, each other? other, too. They don't even see each other. Wow, oh boy. that's painful. I mean, I think Sprung and Hokomoko are just going to... They're going to be completely smashed. Like, Average Plan's going to lose their base, maybe? Depends on the micro. Maybe one of the Commander Blasts will take out all the remaining Scorchers. Maybe, but they don't have anything on their Commanders. The Commanders mm. are not upgraded at all. Nothing here. Where could nope. it be? <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is almost a base trade. Yeah, this is what I mean. Yeah, it's not quite a base trade. It's everything now. Although, unfortunately, oh, that worked out okay for South Team. Because the Scorchers got too close. Actually, it worked out really well for South Team because now, at this point, they actually were able to get rid of Average Plan completely. Oh. Yeah, so killing the factory would be favorite. Because <laughs> the Scorchers are stuck. Oh, the joys. Oops. Let's finish off the factory. The other Scorcher's going to die. It's away, the Scorcher. Yeah, it's dead, but... Percent. At worked, I guess. South Team is actually ahead somehow. The both I... of one factory, one commander, two Scorchers versus one Scorcher, one Max versus two Max, and the other has two more Solars. <laughs> yeah, this is surprisingly close, actually. Although Sprung has lost every... Or, sorry, Sprung has just a commander. Okamoko has just a factory. Average plan has nothing. Wow. Average plan has literally nothing. Probably could use a mason yeah. right about now. Oh, yes. And that's why this map is not really suitable for 0k at the moment. Because of the hardness? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because stuff blows up and then it breaks the ground because you can't... Yeah. What the heck? Anyway. Oh, nice micro there. Yeah, I gotta say, Scorcher Micro is one of the harder things I found in the game. Like, it's a combination of the yeah, standard retreat really micro with all the vehicle quirkiness because of turning radius. Yeah, indeed. It's really hard. Well. <laughs> At this point, it's basically Kshatra versus Hokomoko. <laughs> Although I think Sprung will rebuild the factory fairly soon. Thing is, the reclaim for Hokomoko is really close by. Yeah. Well, the reclaim for Xatria is uh, in the right corner. I mean, they could go for it with a Mason, 
Or give average plan a mason and then average plan could reclaim it while building up some other stuff. Uh, but Sprung should really reclaim and not build maxes at the moment. Or units. They need to build more energy. They need more power plants. That's the biggest thing they need. Uh, no, wind gens are useless. But yeah, they need more power uh, plants. Uh, Ooh, nice. Well, not bad retreat micro, but still. Keep things relatively even. But yeah, now. Oh, it's level two now, that commander. That's nice. Well, I guess it might as well. I mean, given that they don't have a whole lot to work with. And, okay, now they're getting power. South team with 12 energy, 15 metal. I mean, South team is getting ahead here. That actually, I'm surprised that worked out for them, but it did. Just the quirks of exploding factories and exploding commanders. That's why I always say. When you're about to kill a commander, have as few units near it as possible, because that way you can continue attacking. Because that but was, was a waste. Yeah, that stopped North You couldn't team. have expected that to work uh, with the Scorchers. With North Team Scorchers? Yeah, he lost two Scorchers to a pointless raid. This moment, it's better to just make sure your opponent does not expand. Yeah. Just hunt for that constructor that is running around now and make sure you expand yourself. Yeah, but I meant the because, you know, there's a commander and a turret and some other units, and you cannot win that mini uh, micro game. And even if you manage to take out one raider, it won't gain you anything. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's better to just be safe and uh, keep the information. Uh, if you tilt the camera a bit, you can see in the south that there's a really strange crater. In the south? Yeah, south at uh, Okamoko's uh, factory. Oh, yeah, because that was where the commander exploded. They partially leveled it. <laughs> and then restored it. Yeah, it was a partial, yeah, that was the thing. They partially restored it, but only partially, not completely. So that's why it's a bit wonky. Okay, super max for Sprung. Okay, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. That's Supermax, because that Supermax, that Supermax is the thing that I figured that the South Team would go for at some point. I figured Kshetra and Sprung would want to get it. And, and now you can see how the South Team had more reclaim and metal. Could put out uh, an additional constructor, and now they're a lot faster in the rebuilding. Oh yeah, South Team has got this so easily. Like North Team has definitely got an uphill battle now. Although I do think that the initial flanking, the Scorcher flanking idea wasn't a bad idea. It's just, like I said, when stuff explodes when you kill it, you have to make sure your <laughs> units are far away when that happens. Otherwise... It's a big risk. Yeah, otherwise you just, you're done. Oh, nice. Dual leveler raid. That's a okay idea, I think. Although, unfortunately, it's not quite strong enough once Commander again. Commander kills it. Yeah, that commander, sheesh. Machine gun, and it means morphing again. South team kind of has to, too. I mean, although actually what they really need is more energy. They desperately need more energy. Why are they not building more energy? Power plants. Power plants, you. You're accessing on reclaim. You don't need more metal extractors right now. Okay, there's the power plants. Yeah, it's like build those up ASAP. It's your only hope. Get that going. Oh, Kshatri's got that. Got a bit more of an economic reconstruction going than before, but yeah, still not great. And now the power up. I mean, average plan. They haven't got much either, so. Okay, there we go. Average plan finally with another factory. Finally, North has That's a second craft. factory. But they don't need another factory. True, they don't really have the resources for another factory. What is Sprung's commander now? Okay, cluster bomb, auto repair, and machine gun on top of more HP. Sheesh. You can win the game with that alone? At this stage, yeah. Yeah, you really could. Especially now that... Well, I guess the hypercraft factor is not being focused on, but yeah, now with, what, two levelers and a ravager? And the super mechs? And building out around and expanding pretty heavily and nakedly, but it, heavily... Loads of naked expand, nothing stopping it. And Sprung, they're going for it. Yeah, they have the shield too. Sheesh. Two levelers in one shot. Boom. <laughs> nice cluster bomb for you. All right, so Sprung's taking that out. I mean, pretty much open up the entire thing. They wanted to they just walk north from here, and that would be game. 
Yeah, indeed. Where's the level ward? They had some. The, oh, there it is. We're taking out by the cluster bomb. No, no, I'm sorry. I meant where is Hokomoku's leveler support, but they have some. It's uh, in the base. Leveler and Scorch is in the base. Kshatriya is pretty much done. And that that's going to be it. Then we're going to go on to Grand Finals. And yep, Grand Finals. Well done. Sprung and Hokomoku take third place. That was that. So moving on to the Grand Finals, just in a couple minutes, I'm going to get that set up. So yeah, that was really nicely done. I think that was, I mean, it's a weird match. That, that first assault, like, I just, I don't know. That was just weird, and then it just turned into a weird low eco, high micro match. Which I guess Icy Shell can become. That's not unlikely. But yeah, so that's... That was the bronze match. Oops. So Sprung and Hokomoko in third place. Now for Dying Front and Doom versus Sprang and Dan for finals, grand finals, which will be starting up once I guess we get that laid out. I don't know what the first map's going to be, but get that laid out. And I guess it'll be... I'm guessing we're dealing with a... Can't think right now. Oh, yeah. Best of five, probably. I'm not sure. Best of five or best of three. I thought it was gonna be best of three back when it was listed as double elimination because that would make more sense, mm -hmm. but now it's single elimination, so it could be either. I don't know. I think it said best of five in the tournament thread. Okay, it said best of five in the tournament thread, but there was some dispute about it, so I don't know. Yeah, best of five is a bit excessive. Uh... Yeah. How? What is the time for you? It's a quarter after seven. Now you've been up all uh, night. No, I went to sleep. I went to bed about 12 hours ago. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I always go to bed really early in the evening before tournaments like this so that I can actually stay awake when the tournaments happen. Otherwise, of course, I would have problems. And even now I'm having a bit of a hard time concentrating. I'm probably going to go back to bed afterwards, but maybe not. I don't know. I rarely do. Definitely have something more to eat. Like a second breakfast or something. <laughs> okay, so apparently it is best of five. Alright. I really do prefer the way it works in double elim, where you just have... You have best of three, and then if the loser bracket player wins, or team wins, then it's another best of three. Otherwise, you just have the one best of three because clearly the person, the people who are winning are better. Like, they deserve the win. Uh, anyway. Okay, so this is apparently best of five. So it could be at most two and a half hours. Or... I don't know what's going on. Sit in your right. I. Wait, is the first map actually random? I don't know how maps are determined. Doesn't really say. Me neither. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, first map is random. It does say. The rules are not the clearest. No, and they've been changed three times during the time it was running. Well, it's actually more that I think double elimination was a, was a misunderstanding because apparently Sortail for whatever reason, calls single elimination direct elimination, even though that term is never used. I don't understand why. Anyway, we're going to be a Wanderlust. Finally get it sorted out.
I don't know what the term direct elimination means. I don't know what Zortail means by that. I should have probably asked because it didn't even occur to me that it would actually that term would have a meaning other than it's elimination rather than Swiss. That was a mistake on my part. I should have asked about that. Because that's caused a lot of confusion. Of course, it doesn't really matter if the bronze match was 